Today on the channel, the Hasbro Pulse Marvel Legends Fantastic Four Retro Wave Human Torch. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Fantastic Four. For unboxing and review is today we got the Hasbro Pulse exclusive Johnny Storm Human Torch. But for all your Marvel Legends needs and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. But this one, like I said, a Hasbro Pulse exclusive. And we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. See where it goes from there. But as you know, Hasbro Pulse exclusives. We're waiting on the Invisible Woman. Clear Invisible Woman. I'm very excited to get that one in the mail. I don't know when it's exactly going to come. But sooner rather than later. And I'm excited because that was a very interesting figure way back in the Toy Biz days. So we got some good stories to talk about that one. So that one will be coming hopefully soon. But as we saw with this, and I'm guessing Invisible Woman, she'll come in this nice outer shell packaging here. We saw this with the Doctor Doom figure from 2020. Uh, so that kind of seems to be the Fantastic Four exclusive wave. We've seen it with Deadpool, Hulk, and others out there as well. But a cool little outer shipping box. Unfortunately, mine was be beat up pretty bad, unfortunately, in shipping, or probably most likely it was beat up at the warehouse before they shipped it. Uh, luckily, I'm an out-of-box collector, but very disappointing for somebody if you were looking for mint on card. But a cool artwork there, Human Torch, Fantastic Four, all that kind of stuff we usually get with these. So there you go, off to the side. See you later. All right, now we get down to old Johnny Storm. Interesting, it says Human Torch here, which doesn't offend me too much, but I classify this more as uh, Human Torch than Johnny Storm because he is deflamed, as one might say. Uh, but we know this packaging. We ran through the entire Fantastic Four wave. We ran through the Doctor Doom exclusive last year. So we definitely have a history with this wave of figures, this packaging style. And as you guys know, I absolutely love it. I love this throwback to Toy Biz. This was when I was hot and heavy in my Marvel collecting days way back. The Marvel Action Hour, Fantastic Four, Iron Man, Spider-Man, X-Men. A beautiful time for Marvel collecting comics, of course, action figures, and then even trading cards back then. I was all in on all that stuff. Uh, so when I see these, and I see the old school packaging as well, man, it always just reminds me of those days. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have that, and that's why they do this, because it captures our nostalgia, makes us get itchy, and makes maybe new collectors jump in because, hey, wait a minute, I had that as a kid. Maybe I need this now. Beautiful marketing by Hasbro. Uh, but there it is. Love it. I love this little artwork with the Fantastic Car. The four up there. Fantastic Four. Old school Marvel Comics logo up above. Big window packaging here. You got Johnny Storm. Human Torch, actually. And it looks like he's got some extra effects down there. Some hands. Uh, a lot going on in there. So we'll get into that when we get him out of the package. But beautiful carding, as I said. On the back, got that old school cross sell. That's what I really love. That just really brings you back to the 90s. That's how it was. I think that is cool. Down by my hands down there, we got warnings. We got UPCs. We got all that kind of fun stuff. We got a brief blur. We'll have to read, see what's going on there. And then we got a cartoon glamour shot at the top. So let's see what it says about old Human Torch. Fiery and hot-headed, the Human Torch can burn through just about any adversity with a smile. Oh, beautiful. I do have Mr. Fantastic here. As I did buy a second Mr. Fantastic, there was a big Amazon sale, I don't know, Thanksgiving week or something. It was buy one, get one 50% off. I ended up getting this for $10. And why? Because I already have one. But I said, you know what? I'll have one with the lab coat on, one with the lab coat off. What am I doing sometimes? I wonder, but got to get a deal out there. And uh, you can see the packaging is very much the same, except down here by my hands. You got Mr. Fantastic in black background. You got yellowish, orangish, black, black round background for uh, the Human Torch. So there's a little bit of differences there. But besides that, that is it. The back carding, very similar, very much the same. Get this unboxed one of these days, but I'll give him the old see you later off to the side. All right, Human Torch, let's get down to it. Paint looks really good on this. Uh, we've seen the last few unboxings we've done here on the channel of Marvel Legends, some really great comic-inspired paint applications on the faces. I don't know if they've got a new paint supplier or if I just had a, a good run of really good paint, but the head sculpt on this one looks uh, fabulous to me, the, the painting of it. Uh, and then you got to go through the bottom, I found, I think is the best way to get these. Uh, I do love the sturdy card. These hold up well in shipping, stuff like that. I wish all cards were on this heavy stock, but... I understand there's a price with that. Get him out of the package here. There it is. That's all she wrote. Got it all out. 
There it is. See you later. Goodbye. All right. Human Torch. We get some of the same effects. We get extra hands going on. Uh, interesting. But there he is in the plastic prison, as you can see right there. Let's pop him out. We get these two flame effects. Now, we've seen these flame effects with many characters, including the Human Torch. So getting reused, getting the most out of your molds. But it makes sense. We needed those. So we got those. Uh, we got the back one, which is interesting. So we got this with the other Human Torch. So it's a back. You have his flames. So you can have him starting to flame on here if you want to. Okay. Pull this out. And the hands are the only thing that's left. Can I get it? There it is. See you later. Goodbye. There we go. I'm getting there. Getting there. Putting that tape off to the side. Now, okay, we talked about the flame effects. We've seen those before. Now we get two fisted hands in the package. Interesting, a lot of Marvel Legends, the fists don't seem to be on the characters. Is that some kind of, hey, people shouldn't be fighting. They shouldn't have fists. I hope not. But it's always interesting. The fists are just in the side of the package and rarely on the character. But I'm just happy I got fists at the end of the day. I'm here for it. Love me some fisted figures, as you guys know. Now we get down to old Johnny Storm, the Human Torch, and this is a fabulous figure right off the bat. Uh, a little weak at the elbows, almost AEW Jazzwear style, so that is a bit concerning out there. Uh, these do have pins in it. They are not pinless. We do have double-jointed elbows, double-jointed knees, uh, the usual ankle articulation we get with Marvel Legends. Uh, we get the bicep and thigh swivel. Uh, we get waist, we get ab crunch, we get the head, all that kind of fun stuff. So usual articulation here, but boy, uh, these elbows seem very, very weak. Jazzwear style, like I said, that is a bit concerning. But then we do also get butterfly joints on this one. So we got tons of ranges of movement here. Uh, a lot of articulation that you can play with and pose around with. So that is pretty cool. But like I said, to begin with, the head sculpt, the face, the painting of the face on this one looks fabulous. Uh, very good color to it. I like the look to him. Uh, it just feels like it stepped right out of the comic book is what it feels like. So I really do like that. No paint application issues. With the blue and the white, much like black and white, you sometimes get some bleed over. I do not see any. A uh, little bit at the shoulder. Oh, and what that is is that rubs. Uh, if you're moving and doing your uh, butterfly, it rubbed a little bit. So it, it skimmed off a little bit of the white. So that is unfortunate. We shouldn't have that kind of stuff happening. But all in all, this is a hard color combination to get 100% correct. I feel like they did a pretty good job here. Uh, and like I said, I'm just over the moon, over the moon with the head on it. Does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? Of course he does. He fits like a glove. Can't recommend these sands enough. $249 for a 10-pack. They only have white in stock right now, but they usually have clear, black, white, red, blue, all the colors under the sun. $249 for a 10-pack. Spend your money on your figures, not your stands. Ringside collectibles. Use discount code KYLE. Save another 10%. Holy cow, look at that. But pretty awesome. We got some comparisons here. How about the Human Torch from the Fantastic Four wave? Uh, and I think if most people, I guess, take a vote. Leave it in the comments. Let me know what you think. Do you want Johnny Storm flamed on? Do you want him flamed off? Or do you feel you have to have both? I don't know. I hear both things out there. I remember when this figure came out two years ago, roughly, the new kind of Fantastic Four suit, a lot of people were griping that, no, we wanted the flamed on version. We didn't want this version. And then when this came out, there was some people out there said, I wish we had a traditional Johnny Storm so we could just have him and have them all in their costumes looking normal, I guess. I would almost like to have seen a Fantastic Four wave of all of them looking like traditional gear and then do Reed Richards in his lab coat, Invisible Woman being invisible, Human Torch flamed on, and then do Thing with the trench coat, the sunglasses, and the hat. Have kind of the yin and yang sets. I think that would have been a neat feature. Instead, Hasbro decided to go this one through Hasbro Pulse, the Invisible Invisible Woman through Hasbro Pulse, and mixed it up a little bit. But they obviously felt that the Invisible Woman, clear Invisible Woman, and this Johnny Storm Human Torch were the ones that wouldn't sell the best at retail, so they made them online exclusives, which I'm happy we got them either way. But I don't know. It would be interesting to find out their market research that told them that. Because I see all sides of the coin, for lack of a better term out there. But interesting. I do like this one a lot. I think it's the exact same heads. Yep, it is. Uh, this one, this one's a little bit more tan and makes him look a little bit older. This almost feels like younger version. I think that's what they were going for as well. Because this is a more newer suit and this is more of a classic suit. Uh, but either way, I'm happy to have both of these. I'm happy with any Fantastic Four. And Fantastic Four is weird. I love the animated series. I love the action figure line. But the comic books, I never really collected. They had crossover, stuff like that. That's when I'd uh, read some Fantastic Four, when they were with the X-Men or Avengers or something like that. But I 
rarely ever bought a Fantastic Four comic book for whatever reason, but obviously I know the characters, I know the history, and I know it a lot deeper thanks to toy lines. And that's the fun thing about toys sometimes, they make you discover characters and look into things you don't know because, hey, an action figure is cool. So there you go. There's Johnny Storm. Uh, I got to say, this Human Torch is pretty solid. I am very happy I ordered this one. And like I said, I'm very happy to get the Invisible Woman. I can't wait till she comes, as I'll never forget the great Invisible Woman hunt back in the day. And we'll talk about that when that review comes. So if you want to see about that story, man, you better subscribe to the channel. You better hit that notification bell. As you guys know, we're doing every Marvel Legend unboxing on the channel, among a million other things. Uh, I'm a psychopath, apparently. Uh, but make sure you subscribe to the channel. Like this video. That always helps if you like it. You made it this far. You may as well give it a thumbs up. Follow me on social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle, underscore Peterson, of course, and then ProWrestlingTees.com, search Kyle Peterson, support the channel. So for the Fantastic Four, specifically the Human Torch, Johnny Storm, I am Kyle. I'll see you guys all real soon.